Lesson 14.8, Symmetry in the Plane. A figure has symmetry. There's an isometry. Those are reflection, rotation, dilation, and transformation. But not dilation. Other than the identity. So you just say it's itself, but no, that doesn't really help. The maps figure onto itself. So we have several different types of symmetry. First one is line symmetry. If you take a pentagon you can draw several lines down it and reflect across that. And that would be symmetric. Same thing with this. So we'd call that five lines of symmetry. You also have something very simple like a rectangle, which has only two lines of symmetry. So I could fold it over and it would land right on top of itself. Some people think that's a line of symmetry. And I leave it up to you to figure out why it's not. It would work in a square, but it won't work in a rectangle. So then we have things that have what we call point symmetry. And that means 180 degrees, but just 180 degrees. It could have more symmetries, but not 120, not 100, and that sort of thing uh, for point symmetry. Just point symmetry means it has at least 180 degrees symmetry. So one of those is an example like this. And you know this has point symmetry because if you give it a half turn, it has to look the same. What we call an odd function in algebra. So you literally want to take the page, give it a half turn, and say, does it look exactly the same? That would make it point symmetrical. Rotational symmetry is like point symmetry, but it doesn't have to be 180 degrees. You have something like this, where this is 120 degrees, so it has 120 degrees. And this is another 120, so we could also say it has 240 degrees, so on and so on. Everything has 360 degrees, so we don't ever mention that because, again, that's just the identity. It doesn't really count. You could say negative 120 if you wanted. doesn't matter. There's one other type of symmetry we'll discuss, and it's translational symmetry. So we use the expression tessellate the plane, which really is a complicated looking thing, but it, it doesn't mean anything except bricks. Bricks cover the whole plane. So if you're doing your patio and you use bricks and their offset or whatever, you will cover the whole plane. Now, there's lots of different shapes that will cover a whole plane. I mean, they could be curvy. If you really want to know what they look like, go to Home Depot or Menards and check out all their bricks because they're designed to tessellate the plane to cover. Your classroom has at least three different types of tessellations that, uh, pardon me, shapes that tessellate the plane. So you can look for those if you want. Uh, some of the more complicated ones are things like uh, the octagon. With a square stuck to it. And you'll see this in patios a lot. So you put another octagon here. With a square stuck to it. And you keep doing that forever and then you can actually 
have the next row come along, octagon. Square stuck to it, and it'll, it'll fill in the gaps, so you tessellate the plane. This is just a fun little thing in geometry. It's really not earth-shatteringly important. Uh, if you want to go to a website, go to www.tessellations.org. Um, they have all sorts of neat stuff, but the neatest by far is the uh, M.C. Escher Gallery, where he has built things like the fish and the frogs that fit one into the other and the other into the first and go on forever and ever. Um, and he loved to, to tessellate the plane. He liked to make fun of himself tessellating the plane in places like this, where he has the geckos, that's his classic, that tessellate the plane. And then I used to have puzzle pieces that were like that. And then the gecko gets out, crawls around, turns into an alligator, and comes back and turns back into a gecko at the end. Or maybe it's a gecko the whole time. I don't know. It looks like a little alligator to me. Um, so he has lots of fun doing things like that. And uh, he has hundreds of paintings here, um, all sorts of weird stuff just for the fun of it so uh, by all means check it out see what it looks like otherwise I'll give you some problems to do good luck